All right, so let's say you're uh, creating a car in Blender and you're using PBR texturing. So when you get to the car lights uh, part, uh, you don't want to use image textures. Uh, you want to use real glass. So I can show you how to create procedural normals for your glass so it can, uh, it can appear like a, like a pretty neat car headlight tail light uh, or a fog light. So this is some finished examples from my uh, Beamer. Here are the tail lights. And here's an outdoor shot. There's a better, better one. So first things first, uh, go ahead and create your shape. Uh, I want a cylinder. So I'm going to turn it on its side. So rotate on the Y axis by 90. I'm going to create the material. It's a glass. It's going to be a glass material. So before we get into this, we're going to want to make sure you're using Node Wrangler. So if you don't have it set up, go to Preferences, type in Node. Mode. I typed in Mode. Type in Node, and you get the Node Wrangler right there. So. Um, Enable that and then you can follow along doing all the shortcuts that I'm doing. Like right now, I'm going to click on this principled shader here. We don't want that. We want a glass B uh, S, uh, D, F, So We'll look and see really quickly what happens. In order for the PBR to work, it's going to need a little bit of uh, thickness. So we go ahead here and add a solidify modifier. And it'll make more sense in a moment. So go ahead and put it like up 0.3, give it even thickness and high quality. And um, let's go back here now. We're uh, ready to start making our normals. So we're going to uh, add a bump map. So shift A. And we're going to be plugging everything into the height. So we'll go ahead and make our first um, procedural texture here so we'll go ahead and grab a wave so we're going to be using bands and uh, we'll be switching from sine to saw and from X to Y and Z we'll use all three so go ahead click with this click hit uh, what, control T and now we get a mapping node and texture node automatically and we're going to pull a pull um, our information from the object uh, and can see really quickly what that looks like plug in the factor to the height so now you see we got something like that so we're going to actually go ahead and switch that to y so they're vertical with the scale drop it down to like you know adjust the scale whatever you want i need like something like four and uh really quickly um as part of the pbr uh, set up with this selected to go into edit mode. Uh, actually, I can just hit Control I, select the backing, create a new material. This will be the backing, and this is actually going to be uh, a chrome back. So we'll make it really shiny and metallic, and hit assign. So now what we have is more of a contained light. This needs to be smooth. And we'll fix that in a second. So let's go back into our headlight here. And we're going to add the horizontal uh, lines now. So we'll reuse these two. Pull those down. Grab this. Shift D. Copy that. Another wave to make that big, as you can see. And then we're going to create math node. Set it to multiply, move that down. That's going to go in there. And then we'll hook up the factors into here. And now simply just change that to X. And now, voila, on our way to making the headlights, we have just made the uh oh, I closed
closed it. No, it's right here. The side lights. That's the side lights right there. That's the exact texture. So that's done. Voila. As you can see, we can adjust the the distance and the the strength. So that's uh that actually is like, you know, pretty decent headlight right off the bat. I'm going to grab I am going to grab this and separate it. So we grab uh that the, our face, hit P. Separate it as a selection. Go into my view layer. So now we see that there. And then we can actually take off the solidify for our backing. Keep it on the front. See what we look at now. Yeah, that's better. That's what we want. Now all we got to do is the Y uh, vertical stripes are too, uh, there's too many of them. So we'll just drop the scale down to something like 0.5. Oops. Maybe like 0.6. There. And then now we want to change uh, these uh, bands from sine to saw. And you can see if we hold control and shift, another node wrangler feature, you can preview what we're seeing. And so that's the saw. This is the sign. You can see the thick line. We want this thin line with that offset or with that, that gradient. It's pretty perfect for what we want. And you can pretty much stop here, but we're going to go ahead and pop out the light now. So the way we do that is we hit, uh, with the face selected, we hit I, and then we grab, and we inset the face. So I'll make a big one here first. I'll make a smaller one, and then a smaller one. Just hitting I, and doing the face. And so that with that selected now, I have, uh, you can hit O, do proportional editing. We want to pull that out along our X axis. And we see this circle I've got here. I want to make sure it's just, just smaller than my uh, mesh. This is only for uh, circular headlights. You're going to do the shape of whatever headlight you need to do. Um, but if you need to make, you know, like off-road lights or something, anything circular, this is a pretty good way. So we can turn that off and maybe even bring it up a little bit more. Like that, and then now we can make it smooth. And now we can see what we got. And there, that's looking pretty good. Um, I'd like to add one more thing. One more thing. So we're gonna copy the wave texture down and it's gonna hit Control T, give it its own. Uh, and then we'll leave it at generated, because that's what we want. And uh, copy this multiply node and we'll make it um, the last one. So we'll grab these and move these for organization's sake. Grab these, move these over. And so what I'm going to do is plug in the multiply that was going into the bump into this new multiply and multiply it by our, our new set. And nothing's going to change up there because I haven't changed this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to grab it from the Z and see now you can see this is grabbing it from the local uh, object uh, Z axis which is going from the top so now it's giving me these perfect uh, circles uh, if I tried using bands or if I tried using uh, rings and grabbed it from generated or from the UVs it, they can get distorted so this is pretty perfect it's what I want so then now it's pretty subtle, but from far away, it, it kind of adds, so we can offset it with the phase offset, add more rings, add less rings. Let me show you what's going on here like that. You don't want this to be too dark like that there. It gets black. It's really bad because that'll block out everything, uh, all the work you did. So we like to have something like that. Maybe give it a like a lip uh, there at the top. Um, yeah. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of it.